curious what the roof looks like in the other Silent Hill. I guess we'll never know. What do you bet in this Silent Hill you can go down the stairs and there is a basement and the other one was covered up? <laughs> of course. <sighs> and we're going there right now. Oh joy. Yeah, that's great. Basement storeroom key. the shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf? Yes. Looks like it goes further down. Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life! You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me! Don't ever leave me alone! You're supposed to take care of me! <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but... She ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. I feel like it's up to them to protect Laura. What if there's a connection between Laura and Maria? Maybe Laura was created by Silent Hill. Because they have some significance to Maria. Obviously unknown to them because they said they've never met her before. Maybe it was Maria when they were younger. Maybe that's what Laura's like. Like them as a kid. Anyway, I'm glad they're all right, because the last time we saw anything of them, we just heard them kind of screaming for us when we went to the other world. Mm, now that we have them with us, we can uh, use their help to open up that, was it a fridge? Is that the ring that somebody said they lost in the basement? Yep. In the basement's basement. Found in the basement of the hospital. It's engraved with a picture of a spider. And I can combine it with something. 
All right, and we also found a dry cell battery. Just an ordinary dry cell battery. This one can't be combined. Looks like it's the same type of battery as the flashlight. Okay. I don't think I need a new battery for the flashlight, though. What did the message about the rings say exactly? It said, I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never, ever go back there. So nothing that tells us about what to use the ring for. But we do have a couple messages about the lady on the door with those hands that actually come out of the door. She is an angel no one knows, only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Mm. Yeah, nothing mentions a ring. Is still there. Well, I guess now that I have them with us, the only other thing I can think of to do, really, is to use their help to open up that fridge. I think that was up here on the third floor, wasn't it? in the day room or something? Oh, it was back down on the second floor. Right, I can get to the second floor using the elevator here on the third floor. Also, about the ring. I want to try putting it on the angel's fingers. copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Does that open it? No. So it needs more than that. Does it want a battery? <laughs> no. Oh. 
God. And finally, what a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such things. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gaines. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Palevale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. was that yeah what the fuck oh such a weird juxtaposition of lively energy excitement and yelling and a crowd cheering and then we're back to this uh but yeah i pretty easily know the answer to all of those questions <laughs> Given that I've played every other Silent Hill before this one, all seven of them, I feel like I know Silent Hill pretty well. So the answer there is 313. Um, what was the first question? Oh, the amusement park, that's Lakeside. Second one, what's the name of the murderer? Walter Sullivan. Third one, what's the route you take to get to Paleville? It's Nathan Avenue. In fact, we can actually just see that on the map right now if we wanted to, right? Is this how we get to the bigger map? See, I don't know what left, right, up, and down means for this map. I don't know if I need to go up or down or left or what to see the world map. Let's just try left. Let's just go into other apartment. Okay, there we go. Um, Yeah, it's pretty hard to see, but... It is Nathan Avenue that you have to take to get up to Paleville. Paleville is next to Lakeside Amusement Park on the other side of Toluca Lake. Should I go to the third floor and collect my prize right now? Nah, I'm here. I should try to open this with Maria. open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <clears throat> What's this? Not very cute, is it? You, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. <laughs> lead ring. So we've had a copper and a lead ring. When Maria said a little girl like me, it made me think of Laura. Up to the third floor then. I don't know how many rings we need to get through the door with the angel with the hands coming out of it. And I wonder what the punishment is for getting the answer wrong to the three questions. The storeroom on the third floor. Oh, am I 
might as well put the lead ring on right now, right? Ring from the refrigerator. It's engraved with a disgusting, bloated face. That was it? It's in here. Looks like it leads to a stairwell? I don't know if I want to go in there yet. Hmm. Let's go to the storeroom first. This is it. And that's my prize. Three, one, three. God. I see two ampules and a lot of ammo. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells, ampule, ampule. More shotgun shells. Wow. I feel like I have more stuff than I know what to do with. I have eight health drinks, nine first aid kits, three ampules. Sixty-seven shotgun shots. Oh, I need to reload that. Seventy-five handgun shots. Let's see what's behind this door. It only goes down. a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Museum. Praying woman. Now we've been down here before, but now I can open this door from this side. Oh no, it just doesn't open at all. I've been here too and this door also doesn't work, which means we're going down. This doesn't look right. Normally the stairwell just turns at regular intervals. This one just goes straight. Mm. I don't have a map of this area. I don't like that. I love how often the game makes it so you can't see where you're walking. Sometimes you can change the camera and see what's there. Other times, like now, I have zero control over the camera. Okay, 
Okay, that's a bad noise. Oh, yep. Um. Uh. Should I fight them? Or just run? I don't want Maria to get hurt. Definitely a shotgun time, though. I don't think I was doing much. I think I should run. Oh, fuck. Stop hitting Maria. Oh no. You I think you can shoot Maria. Let's try this again. I don't want to just outright sprint because I'm worried Mar uh, Maria won't be able to keep up. And I don't want them to get hurt. If I slow down, though, then Pyramid Head catches up to us and starts hurting Maria. I'm going to try to just blast him with my shotgun. Just stand my ground. I think I have the healing items to do it, and in the past, shooting Pyramid Head has not killed them or really hurt them as far as I can tell, but at least made them F off after a little bit. So let's try it. Assuming their stabby thing does a lot of damage. It does. They seem to be... Like, they're not going for me. I don't know if they're going for Maria or trying to leave. No, no, they're... They're still fighting back. this is doing anything. Just sounds like bullets are ricocheting off of them. I have a lot of shotgun rounds though, so... Let's take an ampule. I don't think it's working. I'm wondering if I can get behind them or something. Seem to. All right, I just put. I don't know, 30 shotgun rounds into them or something. Forgot exactly how many rounds I had before. That's not possible. Then what do I have to do? Do I just have to sprint and just hope Maria's okay? because I can't think of any other way to protect them.
a lovely piece of music. It is apparently technically possible to get through that sequence without Maria getting stabbed by Pyramid Head, but it's extremely difficult and just very fiddly to get. It's pretty much a given that they're going to get stabbed a couple times. James is just absolutely gutted. I mean, first they lose Mary. And then we lose Maria, who is like a ghost of Mary. Where are we? Oh, we're still in Brookhaven. First floor. We were never able to get to the whole lobby area. Now we can. Books about medicine, the town, and the region are lined up here. I don't have the time to stand around reading all this. What is that lump on the ground? It's an old book here about the history of Silent Hill. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Okay. I copied them onto my map. Hospital lobby key. Laura? Almost everything. Let's try the day room, kitchen, cafeteria. Also a bathroom that I didn't try. We just need to leave. Oh. 